turn to business news now with Nona Peltier. Hi, Nona. Hello. Uh, Sky City has bought 85% of Auckland's AA Centre. Yeah, it's a, it's a very large building on the corner of Victoria and Albert Street. $47 million they paid for yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, that's only for part of the building, right? Did that, did that need some TLC, that building? There's been a it, lot of scaffolding around mm, it, hasn't it? Uh, yes. No, that's a different one. Oh, is it? Okay, sorry. That's on a different oh, corner. No, across the road. Uh, the yes, AA building is where you go to get your passports, isn't it? I, well, I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> well, when, Maybe you where you get Winston your passports, Venus, I don't no, know. No, don't tell Winston Peters. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this building uh, ba has the back end of this building is a car park, uh, and it opens onto Federal Street, which is really the premier street for Sky City. So for them to be able to get this building is a big deal, because it really does give them another piece of um, real estate on that important uh, strip, which is Federal Street, which is where the entrance to the Sky Tower is, where their casinos are, their premium restaurants, the Grand Hotel. Well, and a couple of big stone throws away as the convention set is going Yes, in. that's, they, that's uh, actually the next corner. Yeah, they, right. they own a lot of prime real estate. Yeah, there, so they? They're, they were pretty happy, I guess, to get even 85%. The other part of the building is owned by AA. And they bought it from a company called NPT, which is very happy to sell it because that was a company that was the subject of a bit of a tussle uh, and saw the chair of the board uh, over basically voted out in favor of a new chair. Uh, that was the Kiwi property thing with Augusta right, and all that. Right. There was a battle earlier this year. So NPT has sold that. Uh, they have to still fix it up. But uh, yeah, overall, it was a good thing for NPT. Their share price uh, rose more than 3% to 59.5 cents. That's up by 2 cents. Sky City's share price, it wasn't as, uh, I don't know, it fell uh, slightly 3 cents, not much. Uh, that's to $3.71. Overall, our market rose to another record close, John. I d just before you go, I want to ask you about Sir Stephen Tyndall because he's taking a year off from the warehouse board, is he? Yes, so he's got other things to do. What, what is it? What, what, well, the, he's actually also the chair of uh, Team New Zealand, so he's going to spend some time working on the infrastructure around that whole America's Cup that's coming up, so we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, so he's taking a whole year off to do other things, and I guess he thinks the warehouse is in good hands with their new chair, which is Joan Withers, and of course, uh, a Nick Grayston, who joined the company about 18 months ago and has come up with a plan to turn that business around and uh, do very well on the online business. So, Right, so you told us about the market. The share market reached another record, did it? It did. It went up 0.3%, uh, 21 points up to 8089 and our dollar is still steady. It held on to its early gains. You remember we talked yesterday, yeah, it yeah. seemed to rise for no particular reason. It hung, it hung on to those gains, uh, 71.4 US cents, 91.1 Australian, and steady at 53.7. It will be fascinating to see what yes. happens to the dollar next week after uh, the New Zealand Foyers Board meet. Actually, the bigger deal there is the US inflation data, right. which we're going to have oh, later in the day, just saying. Spoil sport. Thanks, <laughs> Nona Peltier. Have a great weekend.